Hello everyone, I'm Bridget Ayer with All About the Grace and on this channel we talk about faith, culture, and media awareness. And today we're going to be talking about gifts for children, school age children. So here's some gift ideas for school age children. Um, if you haven't clicked subscribe, please do click the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And um, I want to thank all my subscribers. I'm up to over a hundred and my channel keeps growing. So thank you so much for all those who are um, subscribed and um, tell your friends if you think they might um, find this channel to be helpful. Okay, <clears throat> the first um, item I want to share with you, what's great for kids, is it's these Friendly Defender Catholic flashcards. These are um, questions and answers that kids typically uh, may get or that they will have at some point in their life um, as it relates to the faith. And this is, they're in categories, so it covers tradition is one, Church, like church authority, is another. The papacy is another. Salvation is another category. How are Catholics saved? Um, purgatory is a category. Baptism and Mary is a category. So I think there's one more. Oh, and then holy orders. You know, like what priests and religious are. Well, here, here it is. It's called Friendly Defender Flashcards. So this is something that you can do when you're at um, mealtime with your kids. And um, it's just a fun, fun thing for kids to do. They can go through and look through them themselves and quiz each other, and um, they're really great. Okay, so the second item is a series of books. It's like an adventure series, and the main character is Sister Filomeno. She is a secret agent for the Pope. And there are four, um, four books in the series, Lost in Peter's Tomb, Break In at the Basilica, Curse of the Coins, and The Secrets of Siena. And one thing that's really cool about these um, four books and this series is that they're all based in Italy and my husband and I had the opportunity to travel to Italy to Rome and Assisi and Siena and a couple other places and they're really um, accurate <laughs> I guess very historically accurate uh, um, in terms of these books it features a, a boy and a girl um, are in the book that go on all the adventures and the it's not just historically accurate, but it's very much supports or is in line with the Catholic Church teaching. So it's, they're really fun books, but they're just a lot of, they're just very, very well done. The artwork's really well done. Uh, I was really impressed and my, my kids all really liked them. My kids are teenagers now. But I'd say this is anywhere from age three to grade eight, I think, would enjoy these books. Um, okay, so that's what those are. And then, um, oh, I forgot to mention um, my book. Uh, I would say probably age 12 and above for my book, and that's what this is here. Um, my book is Breaking New Ground, Discipleship Using New Media. And really, because we are in such a digital age, this is a tool for really school age kids on up, you know, like sixth, seventh, eighth grade, and you know, up through high school and college and beyond to help people make the connection of using digital media to evangelize. So I share my conversion story in here 
and um, I talk about how, how we could use digital media to evangelize others, bring others to Christ. Okay, the next item, this is a brand new book. Um, it's called Pro-Life Kids. Her husband founded the Radiance Foundation, and it's a pro-life organization, but the wife of, of the couple um, created this book. And it's just super cute. It's actually, um, I actually have a signed copy. A signed copy. <clears throat> but it's basically all about the importance of right the right to life and i like the artwork and there's actually even a thing back here where you can pledge to be a pro-life kid and it has all the pro-life kids it's just a super cute book i really loved it um i'd say you know pretty much from younger kids could get into this too. I'd say anywhere from, I don't know, birth to, <laughs> I don't know, fifth grade, something like that. Super cute book. And then the other thing, the last thing that I wanted to show you, actually I've got two more things. I think this is a really super cool Bible it's the Children's Illustrated Bible, and it has all the main stories in it, but what I really like about it, I'm a, I've talked about Bibles before, I'm really super into Bibles. What I really like about this Bible is it will have not just the story of, obviously it's a shorter version of it, but it'll have the story, but it'll also have like, um, like the Sea of Galilee where this miracle took place, they'll actually have the modern day picture of it and just some information about the geography of that location or the country that it's in now. And I just found that to be really fascinating. And I think this is another, I mean, there's so many different Bibles that you can use with kids. And, you know, I've had a, a much... I guess a easier version Bible for like when my kids were really, really young. And then, you know, as they get older, you know, you can kind of get them into a more age appropriate um, Bible. But this one, I just, I mean, I find this even now to be really, really fascinating. Like right here, they'll have, um, so like they have like the, the modern day synagogue, what it looks like in Capernaum and in Jerusalem. And I just love the history in here. It has the actual story, but it also has um, kind of what modern day people of that time are, are doing and how they, how they live. Like here's, um, yeah. So they have modern day Jerusalem picture here. It's just super cool. Anyway, the Children's Illustrated Bible. And then I've actually talked about this book before. This is a brand new Bible. Um, it's the Great Adventure Catholic Bible. And I actually got, this is not mine. I actually bought this for somebody. I want to buy one for myself. I, I, I had one before, but that one was going to be a giveaway at Catholic Radio Indy. But it's just a really, a really awesome Bible. It goes along with the Great Adventure Bible study, but this Bible is more of a standalone Bible where you don't have to have it with the Bible study and it shows you how to read the Bible. Because a lot of people that are beginners to reading scripture, they don't really know where to start and it can be really confusing. Um, but this is a really super cool Bible. And this would be, I would say, probably, I would say probably seventh and eighth grade on up. 
would would appreciate a Bible like this. And this is obviously for any age above that. So those are my tips for Catholic kids, uh, school age kids, kids primarily. So I um, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you um, maybe will get one of these gifts for your kids. And uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Bye bye.